going on everyone welcome to shooting a shave it is good to be here and it is good to be doing another shave video let me show you today what i'm going to be using the yaki sagrada familia it's a synthetic uh, 24 millimeter tuxedo knot soap i'm going to use today is taconic shave urban woods razor for today the Merger 34c and i got an astra blade in there on its second use let me wet the face and we'll get started So I've got a few days of growth here, not a whole lot, I think about two days. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wet the brush here and start loading. So the soap is kind of like a, you can kind of see through it a little bit, kind of not your typical puck. Nice lather coming out of it. With pucks like this, I like to hold them in my hand and lather them as opposed to lather them out of a jar. I like to uh, preserve the life of my soap. So I always lather it in my hand like this if I have a hard puck that I can take it out of the container. And then I just let it dry out on the sink. I find that it, uh, or I've read that it pre uh, preserves the life of the soap and it keeps the scent from uh, dissipating and breaking down. So, or the soap from breaking down. So it's just what I like to do. So the scent notes in this are bergamot, cedar, and tobacco. I don't smell any... Uh, uh, bergamot in it. I smell mostly the cedar and I don't really even smell the tobacco. It's kind of like a spicy, um, like a spicy woodsy scent. And then they need a little more water. But got a nice lather coming out of it. It's a vegetable based soap. It's got a lot of really good stuff in it for the skin. Like some of the stuff here I believe is uh, cocoa or coconut, excuse me, coconut oil, palm oil, Safflower oil, olive oil, castor oil, um, hemp seed oil, and you know, and pretty much all the other good stuff. There's a laundry list of uh, ingredients, so I won't read through all of them. If you would like and want to see more about it, I can post it in the comments below, so just let me know if that's what you would like. Nice little lather going here. I'm gonna say that's good, locked and loaded. I'm gonna get this excess cream here onto my face. Very nice lather. The scent strength on this from one to 10, I don't know if I said it already, but it's uh, four when you smell it off the dry puck. And now that it's uh, into a lather, I'd say it's a five. So it goes up just a little bit. All right, rinse off the hands real quick and the soap. Dip the tips, we'll go right into the face lather. So I hope everybody has had a great Memorial Day who celebrates Memorial Day. And for those of you who don't, I hope you had a great weekend with your families. You just had a great weekend period. It was pretty, the weather here was kind of um, overcast. Didn't rain, but it wasn't really that great either. It wasn't really fun to do anything outdoorsy. Today was the nicest day that we've had throughout the holiday weekend. And I drug out the kid, the kiddie pool for the kids. And it takes me like two hours to fill that thing up because my water pressure here is terrible. But I managed to get it filled up and the kids had a great time. We had the family over yesterday. We all had a very nice time and my uh, sister's kids spent the night. So I had a house full of kids, which is cool. I like it. It's fun. It's fun for the kids. Believe it or not, when we have a house full of kids, the kids are kept busy and they don't bother us. So, which, you know, my kids don't bother me, but we get to kind of just chill out the kids hang out with each other and entertain each other.
that's going to be good enough. Get all the <laughs> lather and shit off my shirt. So recently I've been doing daily shaves to see how my skin can take it. Did all right for about seven days and then I started getting some irritation so I slowed down. First pass with the grain. So I figured I'd grab a more mild razor and a, mild, and a more mild blade. Give my skin a break. I forgot how much I enjoy using the 34C. One of the first razors I ever bought. It's not exactly mild, and it's definitely not aggressive. So the residual slickness on the soap is excellent. You can go over areas a few times even when you don't have a whole lot of soap in that area. I believe these, uh, this artisan soap maker is in, let me see here, it's in, uh, they're in Hudson Valley, New York. And they make their soaps in pretty small batches from what I remember. They have, I've tried a couple of their uh, different scents. I've tried the Bay Rum. They have one called Excalibur, which is my favorite one. I wasn't able to get, get a hold of it this time. And they also have one that's like lime. And I believe they have a lavender and lavender one too which I didn't get to pick up either. I like lavender. All right, second pass across the grain. So how was everybody's weekends? What did you guys do? Did you do anything interesting? For those of you who celebrated Labor Day, what did you do? Picnics, have people over, cook inside. Oh man, yeah, this soap is a really good performing soap. I've never had a bad shave with bad shave with Taconic. Definitely up there in my top five. So I have a little irritation down here from shaving daily. 
and a little over here. Slight sting to the soap today, but I think that that's just because my skin's slightly irritated, uh, been slightly irritated from shaving daily. Sorry, I'm getting a notification on here. You rinse up real quick, we'll be back for the third pass. Okay, go ahead and get lathered up for the final pass here. Get some of the soap to the top. I don't usually take it out. I just get it to the top and get the excess out. It's just easier to do it that way for me. Yeah, so my skin is having a slight reaction to this right now, but it's I think it's just because it's, you know, a little irritated from shaving daily. I usually... I don't know why I keep trying to shave daily. I think it's just, um, I would love to shave daily, but I can't. My skin's just too sensitive. I can do it for seven days and then after that, it, my skin just gets aggravated. And then every soap I use on it just causes my skin to tingle and burn a little bit. Makes a shave not as enjoyable. Get the remainder out. All right, clean off the hands here. And we'll do pass number three. So, while most people anxiously await the football season here in the States, I anxiously await hockey season. I think I've said before in other videos that I'm a huge hockey fan. My favorite team is the Chicago Blackhawks. And even though I'm from Philadelphia, I was born in Chicago was raised on Chicago sports, so I'm a Bears fan, a Cubs fan, a Blackhawks fan. I can go for the Sox, but only if the Cubs are out. Forgot a team too. I'm a Bulls. I'm a Bulls fan also. Such a great, such a great little razor. I love the 34C. So reliable. Yeah, honestly, you don't even need to apply soap. You can just take the residual, use the residual slickness. Ugh, residual, I can't even say it. The residual slickness and just shave the area. As you can see, kind of how it's white. It's excellent residual slickness of stuff. For a vegetable soap or a vegetable based soap, it's just performance is phenomenal. Of course, a lot of soaps these days are very good. A lot of the artisans today do an excellent job. Competition's probably hard for, for some of these guys today because everything is good and performs good. But, All right, I'm not gonna push it, I'm just gonna stop here. I'm gonna go ahead, 
I'm gonna rinse up, clean up the sink, I'll be back for post shave. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, so for post shave, I'm gonna go with the Thayer's Witch Hazel here. It's in the lavender scent, and I'm gonna put a very, very healthy dose on my face here. Slight burn, so. <laughs> You know when you you know you're in trouble when you get a little bit of a burn with witch hazel. So I might need to take a few days off from shaving. I hate that though. I like shaving. I enjoy shaving very much. I'm gonna use Old Spice today for the post or for the aftershave here. I haven't used this stuff in a long time. This is the newer formulated one. I'm not as crazy about it as the old stuff. I don't feel like it's as strong as it used to be, scent strength wise. It smells good, but it's not like the, uh, the original stuff that my dad used to get, in my opinion. Very nice scent. Matches pretty nicely, uh, nicely with that Urban Woods. And uh, for balm tonight, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go with Morgan's. Oh, wrong way. Gonna go with Morgan's here. I love this post shave balm. It's nice, uh, it's nice and thick. It's almost like a lotion, and uh, it's definitely not very runny. I'm not really crazy about the runny after shave balms, but they're a dime a dozen, so. I don't really have a big problem with, with them being runny, as long as they work. Most of them work very well. All right, very, very nice shave. Not BBS, but I'm not chasing BBS anymore. I'm just going for a DFS, so very nice. I'm happy with that. Whoop, dropping my cap here. We'll go over what I used again. Went with Taconic Shave Soap, Urban Woods. Very, very nice stuff. Used the Merker 34C today with an Astra Blade in there on its second use. Went with the Yaki Sagrada Familia Synthetic Brush here, 24 millimeter knot. And uh, post shave, I used, uh, what did I do with my little, there it is. Went with the Morgan's Post Shave Balm. Balm <laughs> and the Old Spice. I can't talk today. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today's shave, guys. Wishing you all a great week ahead and um, happy Memorial Day and belated Memorial Day to everyone because you're probably going to see this when the holiday's over. So hope you all had a good holiday. Take care. See you again soon for another shave video. See ya.